All right, folks. Two days left. Four boards left. We had a little mix, uh, a little slip up on the last one. I let him make uh, a four heart game, or, or sorry, I went down in a four heart game that I could have made. Uh, so we're going to stretch a little on this first one. I'm going to open a no trump. Uh, okay. We've been, uh, they're all over the place here. So no Trump, the two diamond overcall showed the majors. Our partner's two no Trump bid was leaving Saul. It's just kind of a way to handle interference over our no Trump. I don't, uh, if you want to know about that, there's a lesson on bridge lesson for it, but it's a very complicated system. So I would advise against playing it if you're relatively new, but if you want some extra stuff for these competitive auctions, it is a very, very good convention. Uh, we are going to let this one go folks. Uh, and we did, and now we're on lead. Uh, what? What are you going to lead, folks? Make your lead. You would think the Ace of Clubs, and I might lead the Ace of Clubs as well so most of the time, but here I want to lead a spade first, right? And the reason is when one player has shown two suits and the other player takes a preference for one of those suits, we want to draw Trump as quickly as we possibly can. And it's especially true when we may have a way to stop them running their second suit, right? And we have good holdings in their second suit. Number one, we don't want them to rough those cards. But number two, we, we just think that maybe if they run this suit they, they won't run basically because of the cards we have so now we're just trying to keep them from roughing as many times as possible in both hands and we figured out it looks like the opponents are four four in spades so they can rough now one time in each hand that's good for us we've we've made it more difficult for them and we've maybe created tricks for our side in this club suit here looks like declare has good diamonds though we might be just okay good we'll take now we'll lead a heart through and we're creating kind of trying to create a trick for ourselves now just in case clubs aren't running for it looks like declare might have long clubs here so we want to just get our club on the table and now we'll see if we're cashing a heart and we're not <laughs> okay looks like we did the best we could and declare just set up their club suit there <laughs> interesting they had five clubs and four spades uh but notice the the importance of leading trump in those spots folks remember that when when one player has shown two suits and the other player takes a preference for one of those suits that is the time to lead trump it's a classic situation and it worked pretty well for us there and just keeping that the number of club tricks to a to a good number for our side and let's see is anything else yeah it looks like the spade or the diamond would have been okay as well apparently uh, but either way, we're doing well with those leads. They're very good. All right, this next hand, uh, the opponents have bid our two best suits to start. So we're out of this one, folks. No no trump bids. We have a stiff diamond. We're out of this. One club past one spade. Uh, interesting. Making some calls here. Uh, looks like righty's 5-5 five, five in spades and diamonds. Really weird. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we don't mind this. Uh, this is a very interesting hand because we, we should know a lot of things are going on. Lefty has shown the robot isn't always going to have six clubs, but Lefty has suggested they have six clubs and probably four hearts, I would say, because of the auction they've had. And righty has five five in the spades and diamonds. So this is a hand where they're going to have some transportation issues for sure. Uh, and we have really good cards in the spade suit and the club suit here. Uh, I'm going to lead a low heart. I'm going to try to create some tricks for our side. Uh, we may not be creating anything, but I'm pretty safe in leading these cards here. And we might be, in fact, setting up a trick for our side at some point. And here, oh, they've had, they have two clubs, one spade. And that may be all, uh, if they have a diamond left here, yeah, there we go. All right, so, so it looks like they might have had five clubs and four hearts. And then uh, here, I'm going to pitch a spade. And I'm just going to pitch cards I don't expect to win on these, and I'm going to take the rest. All right, so there's the queen of spades. And this is winner, winner, chicken dinner here. <laughs> we have all the rest of the tricks. Easy pitching, right? When you have winners at the end, it is easy to know what to pitch. And here we happen to know that the queen of spades was the only non-winner left in our hand. And if they let a spade, we were always taking that anyway, so... Plus 50, we'll take that, and we will move on to play two more boards tomorrow, folks. And we are starting with our worst hand, uh, not maybe of all time in these things, but our worst hand of the session for sure. So let's see where the robots are going to end up on this one, uh, and uh, we'll see what we do on number 10 and get the final results as well, folks. So I will see you back here tomorrow.